Hi everyone and welcome to my simple cutting and sewing channel. I have got my new toy HC100 sewing machine. So I thought I will share with you unboxing of this sewing machine and different features. If you are looking to buy machine, if you are a beginner or expert, this machine is perfect for everyone. And it is really fun to um, uh, like a try new machine, use new machine. My old Genomi machine was um, about three, four years old and I wanted to have an update, an updated machine. So that's why I bought this machine from Hobbycraft and it cost me about 300 pounds. So it come with a cover and manual and uh, this is um, like a packing and I'm going to take out this uh, sewing machine from this packet and I will show you how it works and what are its different features. So this is a foot for this sewing machine. You can use it by hand as well and by um, you can use your uh, foot as well. So these are its plugs and cables that come with the machine and this is my lovely Genomi machine and this is a, another plug part of the plug and this is um, uh, this is a I think this is a, a cable as well I will show you where it is going to be inserted so let me take this machine out and then I will show you how to use this machine so it is nicely tightly packed machine and it's very compact as well someone who is looking for a compact machine so this machine is quite compact lightweight about 5 kg 5.5 kg its weight and it has lots of features for uh, beginners and for the uh, new people or for expert people as well okay so this is our machine and uh, uh, it's a foot panel came like this so we have one cable um the plug uh, for the foot and it has a spool on the top of this machine we can put our thread in and handle to lift it up and all the markings where we can use uh, uh, to take our thread down to the needle and here we have a bobbin um, holder and bobbin winder as well so uh, let's uh, see other things came with this machine so first of all i will open this foot panel as well and so i can um, start the machine this one you can use it by hand and by um, by your foot as well i prefer to do keep my hands free and use it by foot so i'm so excited to um, open everything and use and show you how my new machine works and then as soon i will make something now nice with this new machine so this is a, a small pin it goes in for uh, this is a foot uh, foot panel and this is a plug it will go in our main uh, uh, plug for the electricity and i'm going to open this um, uh, wire as well and then i will plug in so our machine will be ready to use one thing i find uh, good about this machine that uh, this machine has led lighting and it's um, it's not very noisy because previously i tried i thought i will buy a singer machine singer i found it really noisy but that, then i have to return that because i don't like too much noise from machines so this is pretty reasonable um, machine and uh, it has um, uh, it is same price but its noise is very very less so if someone is um, very conscious about the noise so this machine is for you so now i have plugged in and there is a switch on the side as you can see that it is um, there's a led light as well it light up and uh, you can see this led led panel it lights up and you can see uh, numbers are lighten up as well if it's in a you know, you're working in a dark environment it's still light and is a bobbin holder bobbin holder is a top uh, dropping holder so these are the different buttons you can see and uh, these are some parts i will show you this came, came with this machine 
the uh, this is um, for uh, like if you're using so these are the needles and thick needles if you want to use with a denim and with a jersey fabric you have to use a thicker needle and uh, there are a few uh, parts as well and this one is for uh, another um, uh, another uh, spool if you want to use for the twin needle uh, features if you want to use a, tw a twin needle so you can use another um, thread or another spool on this holder so there are some zipper foots and some uh, uh, just uh, um, basic stuff comes with the machine and this is a um, um, cover I will put it back this is for thread you can see and there are different uh, other foot you will be I will be reading manual later on so I can find out what these uh, foot are for so i'm just opening this machine and i will showing you so you can see what is coming with this machine and what you are uh, looking for this could be very helpful for before buying the machine you know what you are actually buying and what are the features of the sewing machine you are going to purchase so i will put this in this backpack and i will show you the rest of the machine now this is a tray a pull out tray comes with it and this pull out tray is quite um, uh, has um, like a beneficial you can keep few uh, things in it and this is a button holder sorry button i think button hole maker you can use a to place a button and make a button holes so um, uh, this uh, this is a very like a, it's a one step button hole three different type of button holes you can make so in this uh, tray pull out tray you can keep few things which you often have to use just like um, a screw for opening the needle if you want to change needle brush and extra spool holder few things uh, you uh, find important to keep it with you all the time you can keep it in that tray and rest of them you can keep it somewhere when it is required okay i have uh, uh, placed few things which i often use with my sewing machine and now i will be showing you the different stitches different features of this sewing machine so um, you can choose with this uh, initial number it can come with a zero zero and it has a 99 different stitches stitches can you believe 99 stitches different type of designs you can choose and design it the previous machine I bought that was a single one it has 60 stitches and the same price but this one has 199 stitches and I love this machine so you can uh, choose the number is a digital LED you can see you can uh, numbers you can see on the side of the sewing machine for example is a 74 set it number to 74 and then it will start working I will show you some design so I'm going to thread the machine so you um, we will start I will show you how it works and you can see you can hear the original noise as well I am not closing the original um, noise so you can hear how much uh, sound this machine produce so these are all marking when you uh, will take your machine you can see just follow the marking and um, it is very easy to thread so it's thread around go down and it has auto threader and i love this uh, function it makes your life so easy just uh, pull it out and your machine is ready for thread so i'm place putting my camera down so i can show you how its auto threader works so thread is here and i simply um, pull my auto threader hook down and have a look and then place my thread around and i'm done so my thread is here like this and i will just simply twist it around the needle like this and thread is done and i love this feature and uh, i believe you will love it as well that you don't have to fiddle with the um, thread manually thread the needle so now needle has been thread so oh i forgot to fill in the <coughs> bobbin first 
sorry so i will be using separate spool for um, uh, filling up the bobbin you basically you should um, do bobbin first and then you should do uh, the um, uh, threading so but i think i was so excited i did wrong way around anyway i will show you how to uh, fill in the bobbin now i'm going to take out another my uh, spool uh, stand and i'm going to use another spool so let's fill in our bobbin so I'm using a separate spool because I forgot to fill in the bobbin first. So I'm taking my bobbin and passing this thread across this knob and especially it is designed for passing the thread for filling in the bobbin. Now this is my bobbin and I'm twisting some thread manually and then I will be placing it on the bobbin holder i just removed it it's like an obstruction i shouldn't be putting it here before so now as you can see it goes in a bobbin filling mode automatically so um, your needle will not be affected so now you start uh, use your foot uh, machine foot and start filling up the bobbin and its speed can be controlled by these uh, buttons in the front this one so you can make it faster or a little slower so now it just takes one hardly one minute to fill in the bobbin so i will fill in half of the bobbin so that is enough for my project for today just to show you because i'm showing you this machine at the moment i'm not doing anything so now when i pull this bobbin holder back uh, this led screen numbers come back and now I am going to place this bobbin in my um, sewing machine. So it is a, a top dropping bobbin. So it is a lid and the top and I found it quite helpful. On the top you can see what is going on and all the uh, numbering and scales are given on the top as well for uh, making uh, for stitching straight lines. And now I have placed the bobbin in and and I am press, putting my presser foot down and bringing the um, bobbin thread up as well. So my machine is ready to use. Now take any fabric, take any cotton fabric. I have this, uh, I just take this piece out. Is I think it's a jersey cotton mix. I'm going to use this machine. This machine is very intelligent. I think it will be fine. So it has a medium uh, weight, not really light and not is not pure cotton. However, you can um, this come. I'm using a straight stitch, and I can change. The, I will try different uh, lengths. I think in this machine, uh, length, size, width is little different. So I will be playing around. So this one I think is quite tight and is uh, pulling my fabric up. So let's see, I will change the width of this thread, um, length and width I will change. So uh, there are few buttons which I am not still aware of, but uh, from my previous experience, I know this. So now I'm placing this needle down and uh, I'm going to change the length. So we can uh, um, try different length, which I am happy for. So once I know the next time I can fix it now I am increasing the width so I can have a smooth um, a smooth stitching so now I have increased the stitch length up to four and it uh, looks pretty good I think I'm happy with this uh, width, uh, stitching width not too tight not too loose and you can hear the voice of this uh, machine is pretty quiet it's uh, very reasonable and uh, I am changing the uh, st uh, stretch st sorry stitch length so I can check the different lengths and I will show you some zigzag stitches so you can simply choose the number it is given on the side of this machine as you can see one is very tight and now when i change the stitch it's pretty reasonable and now let's change the 
a different design I'm going to do the zigzag one so I'm choosing the number I think I will be choosing number 14 any number just choose it because we are playing around with machine so choose any number and then I will show you how it uh, design for the different with the different stitches okay so this number I choose is, I think is 74 yes 74 let's do it make a design I think I have break my thread again so I'm using my auto threader it's pretty easy just take a second and we have thread up our machine that's really advantage and I love that feature so now I'm going to start stitching it's a zigzag stitch here we go this is a zigzag stitch so if you are using a jersey fabric you can use a jersey um, fabric needle which is mostly number 19 or 70 you can see this zigzag stitch and let's make one more design and then we will finish our video so let's make a different design I think it's number is coming up so I will take different number yeah it's uh, I think it's 74 I don't know when I am doing um, uh, like audio after so I am going to do another I think it's a 74 number So I'm going to make another design. It, it is pretty beautiful. Okay, that is enough I think I can show you the design oh wow I like this it's pretty nice you can uh, design your fabric your um, um, whatever you are making um, you can create a different designs um, yeah that's look nice so you, uh, for designing and uh, different type of design you must have a lot of thread on your in your machine available and this is our machine and hope you find it really useful and um, uh, have it will help you to decide if this machine is for you or not there are lots of features and i basically is a is a nice compact and quiet machine and it has everything for the beginner and um, ad, uh, advanced uh, people who are uh, sewing for a long time and i would love to hear your comments and i will see you all in my next video bye